Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I do makeup on my super tanned face. And as you guys know, I'm very much tanning. I've got so many pimple scars. So yet I will try to keep it as simple as possible because my skin is extremely oily. It's very sensitive skin. Hai. So first here, as you can see, I'm going to prime my face using the Lakme Absolute Primer. It's a great primer for people with oily and sensitive skin. Also, guys, if you don't like primers with, uh, you know, uh, tinted or complexion care, you know, benefits, do not go ahead and use this because it kind of has a pinkish tone to it. And if you're somebody with a warmer tone, please avoid this primer. For me, it really works well. And people who think that uh, their complexion is close to mine, they can definitely, definitely go ahead and use this. So once this is blended, it looks very very natural and looks you know just your own skin but better so now once my face is primed i'm going to be using my foundation and today i'm going to be using the sugar drop the base foundation in the shade 15 cappuccino this is my shade but a little darker because right now i'm tanned so i don't want to use a lighter shade because that is going to make me look really chalky and powdery and i also do not like uh, you know uh, any other shade right now because this one is perfectly matching me and here i have my wet beauty blender this one is from color bar very very cheap and affordable and very good quality guys so if you want to know more about this particular blender i have a particular video on that i'll share the link in the description box you can check that out so as you can see do it this way it will really help you and just to inform you guys if you <laughs> can see my brother in the background that is because he's having and having a viva and we have a wi-fi in this room so uh we both are sitting in one room and please ignore him he will be turning and you know joking and fooling around a little bit but i have muted the video so let's move on to the makeup guys so here i am just blending is as much as possible also i've applied a little bit on my lips because i want to neutralize the color of my lips here and with this pointed tip i'm also covering the neck and the eyes guys so now once all of this is done, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to use it just to highlight my uh, face a little bit. I do not have any sort of uh, dark circles or dark spots as such. I have a little bit here and there but I don't like, do not like to cover them. I like to keep it as natural as possible and using the same beauty blender, I am blending the concealer as well. And as you can see, just use the pointed side to do this because near the eyes it can be a little tricky and this way it really blends so well. Make sure your beauty blender is wet and you can do it the same way. This is how you need to blend it. Blend it as much as possible. The whole makeup game actually you know, depends on how beautifully you're blending your makeup. It should not look fake. So as you can see, do it this way. Now just I'm just matching it here and there, miss, you know, finding that missing spots and just covering them up. And now I'm very quickly going to conceal the concealer with <laughs> conceal the concealer with uh, a little bit of powder. I'm using this um, Maybelline Fit Me Compact, dusting it a little bit and then lightly brushing it you know on my under eyes now this will make sure that my concealer is in place and there is no creasing as such because that really looks weird just lightly you know uh, dust a little bit of powder and now i'm going to do my eyebrows because eyebrows is something that i am missing i do not have a lot of eyebrows but i like to uh, make it look a little thick you know thicker so i'm using this revolution palette by makeup revolution and i'm going to be using an angular brush and using these two darker shades black and dark brown to you know uh, darken my eyebrows so you can use any other eyebrow pencil but somehow I you know do not like the eyebrow pencils I also have an NS free one but today I, wa I was feeling a little fancy so I wanted to make them look a little darker so I'm using these two shades mixing them basically and then just filling in the gaps so as you can see my eyebrows are not done I do not get them trimmed because after lockdown I have been trying to grow them out yet you know once this is done it actually looks very very clean and nice and as you can see it looks really beautiful now and just, I'm just making it look a little natural 
so i'm dusting a little bit of uh, powder onto them so that it looks natural and not very you know blocky and uh, fake so this way it will look really nice and warm now to hide this stupid double chin i am going to create a fake jawline over here because you guys know i have been gaining a lot of weight and but you know that will not you know stop me from doing my makeup and looking beautiful i am beautiful in all shape and size in all shades so i'm just going to hide this a little bit it will it is basically uh, you know accentuating my features this is what i like to do i don't contour my nose because it's really sharp i don't feel like doing it but i like to contour my you know cheekbones and jaws and i'm going to do my eyes i'm so sorry that part just you know was so fast but then let me just tell you what happened i just contoured my jawline and my cheekbones that's all and now i'm going to using i'm going to be using this particular shade to you know color my eyelids i'm going to keep it very very simple because i know a lot of you guys are beginners so that's why just two shades over here and i'm because i'm wearing something really vibrant i'm going to keep my eyelids also very vibrant colorful and popping i just used two shades one darker shade to color the whole eyelid and then a shimmery shade on the top and now here i'm using my all time favorite you know lacme liquid liner it is one of the best guys i just love it i've been using it since you know 10th grade so it really works for me now for my blush i'm going to be using this beautiful shade by sugar which is the salmon pink and i'm going to be using this as a blush today now using this real techniques blush brush i'm going to take it a little bit dust it off and then apply it on the you know the apples of my cheeks very lightly brushing in circular motions and then adding it up to my hairline this way it really looks natural and very very pretty if you don't like such heavy uh, blush you can definitely go ahead and try a lipstick even a lipstick works really amazing i have a separate video on that i will share a link in the description box you can check that out guys now i'm just going to apply it a little bit here and there so that it looks natural and pretty i am really loving this so far and now it's time to set everything in place using a powder taking very little bit of powder i'm just going to spread it all over my face see guys if you have oily and sensitive skin like me please do not pack on to a ton of powder on your face that is going to look really weird and now i'm going to top it up with my favorite lip color right now which is the uh, you know mega last wet and wild lipstick in the shade give me mocha i have so many beautiful uh, new shades i have a video on that you can check that out i will share a link in the description box and now to set the makeup i'm going to use the wet and wild coconut water primer 3 in 1 setting spray now all of this is done i'm so sorry that was a message <laughs> okay so now i'm just going to let it dry i'm just going to fan it a little bit don't sit under the fan just let it dry naturally this way it really looks natural and shiny Now once that is done I am going to be using a highlighter but for the highlighter today I do not have a highlighter I don't know I've just kept it somewhere I can't find it so this this an old highlighter that I had so I'm going to be using this you know light pink shade because I wanted to use a silver or gold one but I can't find it so my bad I'll just have to use this uh pinkish shimmer shimmer on my skin but it kind of looks good it doesn't look that bad so once it dries everything you know kind of blends in and looks beautiful by the way this palette is actually very nice if you're looking for something affordable and good quality you can check the link in the description box you'll find all the products that i've used here mentioned there with the price and their purchase link so guys once my face is really highlighted and looking beautiful all good and nice i'm going to be you know topping up with little bit of bindi and earrings and i am sorted so this is my 10 minutes makeup routine for an evening look it's very very pretty very very classy and i think everybody all of you can do it so i hope you like this video guys see you next time